with us here. It's James Habs fan coming to you. Today is November 17th. Uh, it is 1.33 uh, Eastern Standard Time. I figured I'd like to just share a little something with you guys with survival. Again, it's another one of these uh, trial uh, things with me to see what can actually produce uh, heat or a flame or whatever, like in a survival situation. Uh, I just tried it, so I didn't bother making a video, I just want to see whether it will actual, actually work. So here it is. Uh, using rubbing alcohol. This is just a bit of rubbing alcohol, 50% alcohol, that actually I got at the dollar store, 50%. I did try the peroxide, the hydrogen peroxide before, but it didn't work. So I'm just going to show all you guys here. Put that there. I'm just going to take some peroxide. Got my ashtray that I always show you guys and use. I'm just going to take the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol. I'm not going to put too much. There we go. It's just rubbing alcohol, that's all it is. Put the cap back on. I'm going to get the water for my tap going just to be on the safe side. Uh, I'm going to turn off the light, so just give me a second. The sound that you're hearing right now is the tap going. Grab some matches. Some, sorry, I'll just put this back on. Just some regular wood matches. Turn off the light. Got everything going. Strike it. Okay. And here we go. Okay, it worked before. And there we go. It is going. So it really doesn't take very much. You just have to really catch it. And as you can tell, it's going. I'm going to turn off the water so this way you guys can actually hear me and not hear the water. I didn't put very, very much. All that by using some rubbing alcohol. Uh, so what I suggest actually, you get, see the flames getting better right now. And that's just with regular rubbing alcohol. It's just burning itself off. So what I suggest is probably even dipping uh, cotton balls in uh, rubbing alcohol and maybe Vaseline. Uh, that's going to be the next thing I'm going to actually try. But uh, I'm all out of cotton balls. That's the problem right now. So, uh, yeah, it actually burns actually quite long, if you guys can actually tell. So much so that my ashtray is starting to catch on fire. Let it burn itself out. The alcohol part of it anyways, before I... In, uh, there we go. Now that the alcohol is all, ooh, oh, it's still going. Yeah, see, I just have to turn it a tiny bit and it still catches. Still a bit of alcohol to be burnt off. And there you have it. Turn the light back on. And that's it. So thanks again for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. And sorry the first two matches didn't work, but I guess I didn't catch it properly. I know it's alcohol. All you guys are going to say, it's alcohol. Uh, any type of alcohol will burn. Well, I, actually I was surprised because the peroxide didn't work and I thought the hydrogen in the peroxide would actually work. Because you know hydrogen is actually fl flammable. Like all you guys know from the uh, Zeppelins. 
So I thought the same principle would actually go, but apparently with peroxide, peroxide doesn't catch. But rubbing alcohol catches. So that's another good thing. A little uh, note for all you guys. So anyways, this is James Habs fan uh, signing out. Just let uh, want to say thank you to everybody for subscribing and joining my channel and viewing all my videos. Thank you and have a great weekend. James Habs fan out.